Right, let's get right into it. This is going to be the ultimate Scarlet 4 4 guide. Um, this is going to show you how to stagger it properly, uh, how to avoid certain situations, all that good shit. So the first things I want to get the first things I want to get out of the way are just Scarlet 101, um, the old dirty bastard. This into a grab. It's extremely important to do this. Um, it's just gonna throw your opponent's timing off, and you get a grab off of it off of doing this. It's really really good. Even doing this into a grab is really good as well because you know you need to condition your opponent to get ready to block that but instead you fuck them up or you could do one one and then grab or you could do one and then do something like that just to throw their timing off completely so that's one thing you can do another thing that's extremely important that i've recently added this to my scarlet and it's really helpful is doing this in a short hop um extremely 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 important because you know people are waiting for that you know that second hit and they're getting ready to flawless block it instead. They get hit with an overhead, 9%. I like it. I think it's I think it's fine. The damage, I like the damage. They get knocked down and then they have to guess and then I could possibly get a grab. That 9% and you get your grab, boom. That, that shit starts to add up. So that's another thing that is extremely, extremely, extremely important. And another thing, a uh, little bonus, um, is Scarlet. When you do a forward form to jump up in the air. If your opponent doesn't know how to anti air, um, you could just literally punk them like this all day. And then go into an overhead or this. Or this. Oh, sorry. Boom. Or then go this and do something like this, right? Or you could do this and then another 4 4 and then grab. Or you can do this into a low. And then you could just start adding the mix up game. So you could do this, boom, overhead. Or then you could do this, boom, safe low. You could start doing stuff like that. Um, I do this um, from time to time. What I usually do, I do this. Oh, sorry. Boom. I jump. And then I go into this guy right here. And then if it lands, I'm plus um, 16. I can start doing stuff like that. So it's really good. Just doing jumping up in the air and doing that. So now that I got the basic generic shit out the way, I want to get into, I don't want to say the more advanced, the more technical, but just things that, holy shit, um, I wish I would have caught on to this earlier. So. One thing that you're going to want to be doing, look, if you could do this into grabs, you should be able to do this into this and this into this. The reason why that is, is very important is because this shit comes out pretty quick. The second hit, like the second kick, comes out in 23 frames, right? And if I just throw it once, I'm negative 16, and if I go into my highs, it's going to come out in 16. It technically comes out faster than the second kick right here. But the thing is, your opponent cannot poke out of um, when you're doing the second kick. But they can absolutely poke out of this. Now, if your opponent is flawless blocking, you can literally do this and just punk them for plus frames. Like, all the time. But let's say if your opponent is, you know, is poking you after all this shit. You need to condition him. You absolutely need to condition him. And I'm going to show you guys a clip right now on how to condition your opponent. So I'm going to do commentary over it. This is a round that I did. And I was literally basically conditioning my opponent on doing certain things. I conditioned him off of this string right here. Doing a 4-4 four, four and going to my high. This is the fastest move that you can do after. Other than you're down one, this is the fastest one. And the beauty of it is that there's a, a follow-up to it. And then there's just so much shit you can do. So check out this clip. I'm going to commentate over it, and then we'll be right back. Alright, so this is the first round of a match, right? I'm playing, playing against Fujin. Not only that, I don't really know Fujin like that, to be honest. So, I'm doing that shit. I'm getting punished, whatever. Looks pretty cool. I'm getting punked, right? And then, that, that was an input error, but it worked. Whatever, he's taking my shit. Sweep, blah, 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 right? I do my forward four, that, and I grab him. Just like that. Boom. Did my forward four. Did a standing one, and I grabbed him just to fuck him up, right? So then, um, a little scramble, do that, I do it again, and he fucking pokes out of it, and now he's whatever, right? And I'm getting clipped, right? So now that I know he's doing that shit, boom, I do it again. Boom, I do the 4-4, I do it again. He's just like, whoa, and then I complete it, and then I see how I'm just fucking up his timing? I'm just punking him. And then right here, all I need to do is jump, and then overhead, and that's that. Just like that. Just pimped him, just like that throwing off his timing, he doesn't know when to block, 
Oh, and he's poking when he's not supposed to. That's Scarlet 101 right there. Alright, so to break down what the fuck you just saw, I just completely mixed up my opponent. Which was, I would do the 4-4, four four, I would do this again, and he was pressing buttons, he would get hit, and if he gets hit by this, if he gets hit by um, my auto shimmy, right, by the last hit, I have the hit advantage of 9, meaning I could throw my kick again, meaning I could start that process all over again. So after what I did there is, I threw this, 1-2, I hit him, I get to hit him again, and instead of like, instead of staggering it, I kind of just did the two hits, so it looked like something like this. So let me actually, let me make him um, actually get hit. It looks something like this. So boom, one, two, one, two, and then grab or whatever it is, right? So he gets hit by this, and then I complete it. Or I can just do this, one, two, one, one, grab. I was just mixing his shit up, basically. He just didn't know when to block, and he didn't know when to press buttons. And it was just completely throwing off his timing. So you could also mix it up. You could do this, one, and then you can do a short hop. So let me actually put him in a realistic position where it's like this. It will look something like this. So you do something like this, this, boom, right? And then you'll do boom, one, two, one, boom, short hop. Or you could do literally this, boom, one, two, grab. Or you could do this, boom, boom, grab. Just mixing it up, fucking up your opponent's timing, make them like really respect when you do certain shit. So just gonna make them block more than they should. And when you make them block more than they should, you can start grabbing them. You can start just punking them with this right here. That's another thing that's really good. Doing this one plus frames, cause this comes out the same as this. This and this is basically the same shit. They just do different things. Fourteen percent plus six guaranteed pressure and then there's that so that's basically what happened you fucked up your opponent's timing you let them fucking guess instead of doing this stuff which is still good this is really good or then doing this into the, into this this comes out so fast that your opponent is like it's waiting for the follow-up and when the follow-up doesn't happen they're like fuck so the best thing for them to do is to literally just hold that fucking block button and it's not the best thing to do with Scarlet's forward forward pressure. As you saw, literally, towards the end, I didn't even do any combos. Not a single fucking combo I did in that entire match. And I was just punking him for just damage. Just like that.